A harassment campaign against geeks and gamers has been started, ironically enough, by people who claim to hate harassment campaigns. Welcome back to Words of Paradise, I'm your host, Leon Isle, and yes, if you have not seen this post floating around X by a myriad of different Disney shills, Molly Damon, I've spoken at length about this in the past, but only way things get better is if Team YouTube does something to discourage this kind of content, until then, it will only get worse. I, we're going to go over what this soy dribble has to say. I just want to take a moment to appreciate the irony. How delicious it is that you are trying to cancel individuals. You're trying to take down their channels. Trying to demonetize them. Trying to turn them into villains. Because they got opinions on, frankly, what amounts to just... A dorky, fun, sci-fi show, movie that we all used to be fans of back before it was inevitably ruined by the House of Mauschwitz. You came in, you usurped the fandom, you decided to take what was not yours for your own, claim you've always been a fan, kick out those of us that have grown up with it, loving it forever, the types of individuals that you used to probably shove in lockers for being weirdo nerds, and, uh, and now you're trying to take the livelihood of individuals who actually care about the product. I just... Ugh. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. We're gonna get into this before we do hit that subscribe button. I'm a nerdy news channel. I cover nerdy news every day. And, uh, guys, when I tell you this is soy-filled, you're just gonna... You're not gonna believe it until you read it. And if this is your first time hearing this, I apologize in advance for the trauma that I'm about to inflict upon your, mo your noggin, your gray matter. Last week, actor Amanda Stenberg, she, they, they put in the pronouns to appeal to Team YouTube, posted candid comments to Instagram about the rampage of bigotry and vitriol that she has received since leading the cast of The Acolyte, the latest addition to the Star Wars universe. Now, first of all, Amanda Stenberg, Stam Stellenberg, whatever her name is, uh, nobody even cares, is free to do so. She's allowed to use her free speech to be an arrogant twat. That being said, when using said free speech to be an arrogant twat, others are allowed to respond in kind. Also, Star Wars ain't the cultural juggernaut it used to be. If you want YouTube to care about this, I don't know, maybe make your appeal about something like Mr. Beast or Minecraft or whatever it is the kids are into these days. In fact, this known tactic was initially provoked by former Breitbart news editor Milo Yiannopoulos... They're rolling with the Milo Yiannopoulos explanation. Guys, Milo was relevant 10 years ago, almost a decade ago. Most of you probably didn't know who Milo Yiannopoulos was when this stuff was even going down. You probably had to get on Wikipedia, Google the original Gamergate, you know, look up the, the, the fictionalized version of what the internet tells you actually happened. And you're like, oh yeah, Milo Yiannopoulos, oh, alt-writer, okay, I, I can use this to build my narrative. Like, you, you, you don't even know, and for, and I'm not even defending Milo Yiannopoulos, although to be fair, I think he's, you know, makes some good points, makes some bad points, just like most people, you know, in their lives. But again, you can just smell how disingenuous it is by them using that example who aggressively targeted Ghostbusters actor Leslie Jones under the guise of film criticism. After prolonged insults against her Ghostbusters character resulted in harassment against Jones on Twitter, Yiannopoulos claimed Jones was playing the victim, which she was, uh, when she called for action against the harassment. The aggressive gaslighting of Jones' experience resulted in Yiannopoulos being banned from Twitter. Unjustly, might I add, there were far more people doing far worse, like, I don't know, actually using the platform to spread child pornography, but because this gay right-winger decided to make fun of the black chick in the shitty Ghostbusters remake, he got the band hammer brought down on him. Oh, I love or hate Milo Yiannopoulos, let's be real. Twitter had far worse problems in 2016, and frankly, in some respects, still has far worse problems today than whether or not some D-list celebrity who was in a shitty movie is getting ragged on on the internet. As fans of Star Wars, the Star Wars franchise, you use the word fans very liberally, we have tirelessly witnessed a handful of YouTube creators continuously drive prolonged insults and harassment against marginalized actors and members of the community. Now, full stop. 
Give us an example. Like, I know, you don't like Geeks and Gamers, you don't like Jeremy, you don't like, you know, Ryan, you don't like the whole crew, you don't like Junk Thepio, despite the fact that he's one of the nicest individuals you will ever meet. Homie does so much charity work, does a lot of work for kids. That doesn't matter to you. You see these folks, you got this sort of vision of them in your heads, and you're gonna go all out on the attack, even if you do not have the facts. Or, better yet, what you're really doing, you know that the, the facts are not in your favor, because you have this whole part down here called The Facts. Nothing is factual. This is all about your feelings, but you're going against them because they 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 prefer a different you know political uh, ideology than you. They also prefer a different you know type of content and and type of just uh, you know actual good quality entertainment than you do. It, it's it's wild to me because you can't actually find any evidence of them harassing individuals. Because making jokes about folks ain't harassment. Talking about whether or not they're bad at their job or whatever isn't harassment. If it actually was harassment, they would have already been booted from the platform because harassment is against the rules. But no, these are just dudes talking shit, having fun, having opinions, as we're all allowed to do. The Star Wars fandom demands... L oh, listen, listen to us nerds. We're demanding you, multi-billion dollar corporation demands that YouTube enforce its community guidelines against prolonged insults and incitement of targeted harassment towards women of color by demonetizing YouTube channels Geeks and Gamers, Ryan Cannell, and Nerd Roddick. They out here calling for the full-on demonetization of these individuals over straight-up false allegations that they are going to call facts. The facts. In 2018, Geeks and Gamers, with 396,000 subscribers, encouraged harassment against Vietnamese American actor Kelly Marie Tran. Already, you're opening up with a lie. They said in just about every video, hey, by the way, don't go out and harass people. Like, that was... They're allowed to say what they want to say, have opinions, and then say, by the way, those of you, don't, you know, don't go out and be assholes. That being said, if people do go out and be assholes, oh, well, that's freedom of choice, baby. I got the freedom of choice right now to say that whoever wrote this is a dumb, spineless dickhead. But I'm not going to get banned for it. I'm not going to get canceled for it. Although, I don't know. I might be. I actually had to deactivate one of my socials not too long ago because some whack-ass stalker found me. So, uh... Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm just saying, yeah, th things get pretty weird. That being said, oh well, I deactivated the social, I moved on. I didn't even, this is probably the first time y'all are hearing about this if you watch this video. I didn't talk about any live streams, I haven't mentioned on any video prior. This has been like a week ago. I'm going, fuck, I just move on. It, it's real life, the internet ain't real life. Oh my goodness, uh, departure, leading to Tran's departure from Instagram due to prolonged harassment. Geeks and Gamers published nearly 15 videos relevant to Tran's Star Wars Episode 8. Oh, no. 15 videos. Out of how many thousands? The channel claimed that trans character is one of the most hideous characters of all time. It was. Uh, most unlikable character ever. She was. And exists for forced diversity. She did. Many of the comments found Geeks and Gamers videos can be seen in, in, in hateful comments under trans now deleted Instagram posts. Geeks and Gamers champion RK Outpost, 319,000 subscribers, a channel that frequently targets marginalized actors, including Moses Ingram, who was bad at her job in Star Wars, a black American cast member in the TV series Kenobi. Days, do you guys not think that black people can fight for themselves, can stand up for themselves? How racist are you that you need a white knight and go to bat for all the black people out there because you're just too dumb and or soft to do it yourself, black people. Uh, like, you're the fucking racist here. Um, RK Outpost on Ingram, uh, called Ingram a lunatic who can do nothing other than play the victim. None of that sounds like harassment. Uh, none of that definitely sounds racist. He didn't say anything about her race, about her skin color, about her heritage, nothing. Uh, black people can be lunatics and can play the victim. Just like white people or Asian people or Mexican people or really any people uh, can act like lunatics and play the victim. Except Muslims. Muslims can act like lunatics. Mainly because once you strap a bomb to your vest and you like, like fly planes into buildings... You're probably already a lunatic, so you don't really need to, you know, you know, pretend to be one. RK Outpost has recently referred to Ingram's Kenobi character, Reba, as dumb and retarded. Again, no, not, not, neither of those constitute harassment. They are statements about a fictional fucking character. Geeks and Gamers and RK Outpost frequently co-host the live stream Friday Night Tights on Neurotic's YouTube channel of 1.1 million subscribers, where the three channels have made a profitable business reusing prolonged insults against marginalized actors featured in Star Wars, Captain Marvel, Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, name a few. Oh, it's funny. You don't mention 
all the times they make fun of white actors, because let's be real, they make fun of white actors a big damn bunch of the time. I mean, how many times they made fun of Brie Larson, or, or, or how many times they made fun of Mark Ruffalo, or how many times they made fun of, um, oh, oh, uh, Captain America, Evans, Chris Evans, how many times they made, like, d let's, let's be real. They make fun of far more white people than black people, but that's because, you know, there are more white people getting these jobs than black people. You know, oh, uh, uh, affirmative action, what the fuck ever. Amandala is the current target of this YouTube-based operation. No, she's not. We made some videos about her for a week, then we moved the fuck on. She's a nobody. Also, uh, this target of a YouTube operation decided to, to go out and, uh, you know, make that diss track just blaming all all white people for the for, for the failure of the show that she was working on at the time I and mean, what was that you know fuck yo discourse yeah so she can make a racist diss track against white people but god forbid we criticize her shitty tv show Together, Geeks Gamers, RK Outpost, and Neurotic have led the charge against Amandala even before the release of the Acolyte produced nearly 40 videos relevant to Amandala and the Acolyte since May oh no pop culture channels are talking pop culture how fucking dare they? <laughs> These channels have uh, asserted that Amanda is a vapid and narcissistic, she is, an adult pretender, she is, dumb, definitely is, and a half-black bitch, absolutely, for defending herself against racism. No, 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 they... She was not all these for defending herself against racism. She's all these because she is vapid, narcissistic, an adult pretender, dumb, and a half-black bitch. Like... Who's playing the victim card? That's what it is. These YouTubers also use racist dog whistles, including the angry black woman stereotype. Well, look, if you want that stereotype to die, maybe black women should stop being less angry. And this ain't even homie me and racist for a joke. I got a lot of black friends who are male that talk to me all about the angry black women, which is why they prefer to stick their dick in white women. Black chicks, clean that shit up. It shouldn't be that hard. The hate campaign against Amanda has been so profitable that other major YouTubers have joined the attacks on Amanda, including Star Wars Theory of 3.5. 3 million subscribers, how many more good faith content creators will turn profitable hate campaigns if this behavior is permitted to continue with no repercussions? Yes! Demonize people for having opinions! Bring on 1984! Give us Stalin! Ask Ezra YouTube. It will be amazing. But it goes on. Action required. This is what they are requiring. As good little Nazi, this is what these Nazis are requiring. The Star Wars fandom refuses to watch another marginalized actor or fan be singled out by prolonged racist harassment. First of all, it seems to me like the Star Wars fandom just refuses to watch more Star Wars because... If the Acolytes anything to go off of, we're gonna see some more cancellations in the future because the viewership ain't looking great. I don't really know what how much of the Star Wars fandom is left, uh, but it definitely don't seem like much. From a handful of YouTubers as a result of YouTube's inaction, which has transformed hate into a lucrative career path, I, I, I gotta ask you something. Where is your, uh, consistency? Because I thought there were more of you. You know, I thought there was, so we're just a loud minority. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So... Either there's more of you and we're really powerless nitwits who can't affect change, or there's so many of us that we are actually the majority and we do have the power to affect change and if we're the majority, then shouldn't we as the paying customers be the ones that are listened to because we're the ones that are actually going to have this stuff make profit if they ever decide to try to listen to us and then do something to make a profit? The fact of the matter is, you can't have it both ways. You can't decide that we're these big bad evil guys with just armies and swaths of individuals that are leading the charge and that are bringing Disney and YouTube to their knees and also claim that we're a bunch of nobodies and there's more of you. You gotta pick one or the other. Either way, you're playing the victim, but at least decide which fence, which side of the vents of victimhood that you want to sit on. We understand that YouTube has an important role to play in promoting free speech. Yes, it does. Full stop. End it there. It would be the only intelligent thing you've said in this entire letter. However, content uploaded by Geeks and Gamers, RK Outpost, and Nerdrotic is not opinion or criticism. False. It is literally false. By definition, both of those things. You just do not like it because of the negative, uh, you know, because of the negative connotations of their criticism, of their opinions, and because it goes against your ideological worldviews. It's prolonged targeted harassment against women of color. Uh, again, all the white dudes they make fun of on those shows. We urge YouTube to enforce its community guidelines and demon uh, demonetize these channels immediately and permanently. Right? Again, there's. Out here doing, just calling for the removal. Uh, just so you know, YouTube is never going to do this. I, I, the reason I'm making this video, I don't need to sit here and like, oh, time to run defense for geeks and gamers. They don't need a little fucking 4,000 uh, subscriber channel running defense for their several hundred thousand uh, you know, subscriber channel. I'm doing this because it's funny as hell. The idea that you think that they would demonetize them when, let's be real, they bring in some baller revenue. Look at the super chat numbers on their Friday night tights events, on their Tuesday night's made events. You know, you 
YouTube takes a 30% cut of Super Chats, when you're raking in thousands upon thousands of dollars every day, every week, every month, and YouTube's getting its nice 30% kickback, bro, you think that they're going to demonetize that shit? Nah, they're going to give a slap on the wrist at best, and they're going to move the fuck on. Thank you, and may the force be with you. Oh, you sad, strange little man. We got Kyle Katarn out here saying the same shit, like, just reposting it. It's time for you to be part of the solution, Team YouTube. While you continue to allow these channels to be monetized, you are incentivizing hatred and racism. No, YouTube, you're incentivizing people to actually have the balls to speak their minds, which is pretty goddamn good, considering the original, I uh, the original idea of YouTube, the original tagline was YouTube broadcast yourself. People have the freedom. In fact, they've got the bravery, the courage to broadcast themselves. So are you going to take that away and again, give us just this Stalin-esque sterile internet all because some whiny gay-ass Star Wars fans threw a fit and decided to write you a letter? I mean, look at this. this such, such a pansy, such a pussy. This Molly Damon lot down the replies. Oh, of course we got Jacob in here. Devoted Star Wars reply guy Jacob. Well said, Molly. I've started reporting a few channels that have in in uh, engaged in the targeted harassment. Hopefully YouTube will improve in banning and demonetizing these people with more people addressing them bringing this to light you people think that you haven't like what have you been doing for the last eight years because I just imagine you sit there and constantly report them every goddamn day are you just, you're really trying to convince us that for the last eight years you've been like I don't like the words they're saying but I'm not gonna hit report button on the channel I don't like what they said in this next video but I'm, I'm gonna let this one slide because free speech is important. No, you guys have been trying to get these motherfuckers taken down for eight years. It ain't worked. It ain't ever gonna work. You losers, you pansies, and this is a cry for help. You know what you're doing? You're so upsetty spaghetti because your precious shitty Star Wars show got canceled. You're actually acting like the husband that comes home from a long day at work and then just beats the shit out of his wife, takes it out on her. Like, that's what you're, you're mad because Disney canceled the show and you're taking it out on these fucking YouTubers. You are being the abusers that you claim to hate. The irony is fucking palpable, or I guess Palpatine in this case. But those are just my opinions. Let me know yours in the comments down below, or let me know on X or you can find me at Bolt the Word. And please do subscribe. I'm a nerdy news channel. I cover nerdy news every day. Not always about YouTube drama. In fact, I hate covering YouTube drama, but this one was too funny not to cover. But usually, anime, movies, music, Magic the Gathering, you name it. Check me out on Instagram at Words of Paradise underscore Leon. And become a member for $4.99 a month. You can join the Discord. Choose the articles I go over on a day to day basis. Choose the videos I react to on my Friday night live streams. And of course, get involved with over 80 other vital items. Idols, we are a bright, beautiful, glowing, vibrant community that I cannot wait to grow even further because we do care about diversity. But only one kind of diversity. Diversity of thought. If that's interesting to you, hit subscribe, join the Discord, and until next time, it's all here in the Nerdosphere. This has been Words of Paradise.